Today we're going to talk about springs used in seals. Um, the main reason we would use a spring would be to overcome the limitations of the primary seal element. Um, and generally, uh, seals made from elastomer and most polymers have the ability to energize themselves, at least for a short time under certain conditions. However, as application parameters broaden, uh, spring energizers are needed to provide consistent loading. There are four types of springs commonly used in the industry. The first of which is a garter spring. The next would be a cantilever or V spring, a helical wound spring, and a canted coil spring. The garter spring is constructed of a thin wire that is coiled and backwound on itself, which re resists um, stretching or being pulled apart. They are most commonly used um, on a radial shaft seal. Uh, it helps the lip engage the shaft. And there's many different combinations of wire and coil diameter which allows us to select predictable loading um, across a wide range of seal diameters. Uh, they are a good option when we have high runout in our shaft, allowing uh, the shaft, the seal to maintain contact with the shaft. And unlike the rest of the seals we'll talk about today, uh, garter springs do not require an opposing surface to push against. The next type of spring is the cantilever or more commonly known as the V spring. It is made of a metal strip that is punched and formed into a V shape. The, this sp spring geometry allows for a wide deflection range uh, and a predictable linear load. The shape of this spring also concentrates the load at the front of the seal, making it a good choice for excluders or scrapers in reciprocating applications. It uh, can also be a good choice for static applications where we have wide tolerances or misaligned glands. A helical wound spring is constructed of a thin metal strip that is formed into a helix shape. This geometry produces a high load versus deflection curve, making it a good choice for vacuum or cryogenic applications. Uh, these are commonly selected for static applications, but sometimes we can use them in slow or infrequent uh, dynamic conditions. The small deflection range of this type of spring really prevents us from using them when we have wide gland tolerances or misalignment. Finally, a canted coil spring is made from a round wire that is coiled and then formed into a slanted shape. These types of springs have a very flat uh, load versus deflection curve making them a great option when we do run into uh, large gland tolerances uh, or a misaligned condition. Uh, they are also really good options when we run into a friction sensitive application because uh, as the engagement of the lip changes, the amount of loading generated by the spring really doesn't change. So, I hope that gives you a brief introduction to the different types of springs that are available and some of the advantages for each type.